I'm here at Cruise Night in Downers Grove, Illinois with my uh, 1958 Pontiac Parisienne convertible. This is the video category on engine. It's a mild small block. Hello, my name is Natalie and welcome to US Classic Plus of Cars. I'm here with Tom today in front of this beautiful car. Oh, this is a 1963 Plymouth Sport Fury. It's a two-door hardtop, and that's a complete restoration. This car was... Beauty today, kind of her beautiful car. Can you tell us a little bit about her? Well, she's named Bella because it's beautiful in Italian, and she has... Um... Hi, my name is George. This is a 1960 Bonneville convertible. Hello, my name is Frank. I got a 64 Chevy Impala SS. Good evening. I'm Jim. This is my 56 Thunderbird. It's peacock blue. And we also have the chrome wheels and the very nice paint job as well over here. Hi, my name is Natalie. Here's a quick presentation. Of Hi, I'm in Downers Grove and I'm with Frank Troost. And what did you bring tonight? I brought a 1957 DeSoto. How long have you had her? Oh, about 10 or 12 years. Okay. Did you do the work too or did you buy her like this? I did not. It was mainly done when I got it. It uh, required some mechanical work and some other things to have it uh, roadworthy, but it uh, uh, was pretty much done as you see it now. Okay. Uh, what can you tell me that's special about this car? Well, the DeSoto was the, uh, uh, this, this model is a golden adventure. It was the top of the line model, the most uh, uh, powerful uh, car that they produced. Uh, they sold them in very limited numbers because it was uh, quite expensive. Okay. Uh, it was the, um, actually, the, it had a very powerful uh, Hemi engine. It was 345 cubic inches. It produced 345 horsepower. So for the time in 1957 to have an engine in a car that produced one horsepower per cubic inch was, was quite something. Did the Hemi come in any other year besides this? Well, the Hemi had, um, the uh, Chrysler had Hemis in their, um, uh, their uh, the Dodges uh, uh, and Chrysler's Imperials. They had them in some of their other models and each, each one was a little different. So, uh, That's okay. And then they had them until about 1959 and then the Hemi was gone. So you can see the engine looks looks a little um, a little different than than, uh, than most most engines. It does. Uh, that's when you when you see those big valve covers. You can see where it says DeSoto Fireflight Eight. You see uh, uh, those the big valve covers. Those are usually that's going to mean that's a Hemi engine. Okay. It's got hemispherical combustion chambers, the most efficient type of combustion chamber causing the, the engines to uh, uh, produce a lot more uh, horsepower than similar engines of the same displacement without the Hemi ends. I learn something new every day. Thank yeah. you. Let's look at the interior. Okay. And I notice there's a hole right up here. He can uh, zoom in on that. And well, the, the, in 1957, the interiors of most cars were, were quite colorful. They would always uh, color key the exterior to the interior. And that right. is uh, mostly an original interior in the car. Oh, it's more and, detailed uh, than I've seen. Uh, they they would um, in '57. Most of the manufacturers they might offer 12 or 14 colors of paint, and then 12 or 14 different interiors that would be color keyed to the exteriors. Uh, needless to say, they don't do that anymore. Modern cars maybe have three choices of uh, interior color. That, and that wasn't uh, true. the wheels. Well, this has uh, uh, gold hubcaps. I think the DeSoto Adventurer. Uh, they made, I believe, for four years, was the only car ever to have gold hubcaps. Um, there's problems with, with having the gold hubcap. Hubcaps are usually stainless. Right. You can't anodize stainless, so they made the cover of the hubcap out of aluminum. And then they put it on a stainless steel um, uh, backer, um, so uh, it, it would attach securely to the wheel. Okay. Problem with the aluminum, in time the salt corrodes it. Most of these have little holes in them. Okay, I, you don't see you that. You have to look that. closely. Are those the original books? 
Uh, those are, uh, yes, uh, uh, repair manuals. I have a number of cars. I always get the factory repair manuals. I love those. My with dad any has cars, them. Uh, <laughs> love them. That I buy. So, you know, if you run into some issues, you've got some Absolutely. books to help you. Follow me. Yeah, I, I think that was one of the neatest emblems they ever put on their car. Yeah, I, that, I was like, look at that. The factory. Factory emblem. I think it has been restored once. So. It's got the tri. Yeah, uh, that was a DeSoto trademark for a number of years. A triple, uh, triple tail light. Okay. And the and the gold oh, trim. That's where the originally where the exhaust exited the car was out of those bumper tips. Really. Uh, most people along the way uh, converted them because when you did that, uh, it really rusted out the the, the rear bumper. So this car has been converted. The exhaust no longer comes out of the tips, but from underneath the car. That's a big trunk, too. Well, they, they call this, people that always ask me, how many bodies can you fit in that trunk? Of course. So I, I tested it out. Mm -hmm. And right. you can, usually it would be four. <laughs> Don't incriminate yourself on camera. Well, usually four. Come with me. Come. I gotta keep an eye on you. Well, all, all Chrysler, uh, oftentimes people see the car and say, oh, it has a push button transmission. Well, not actually. It has push button controls for the transmission. And all the Chrysler uh, cars from 56 to I think 64 with automatic transmission had push button controls. Oh, wow. And that, is that a leather dash? No, it's, it's vinyl. vinyl. It looks like it's leather. Yeah, I know. Well, it's... What is Thomas leather? Leather, you know. leather? okay. <laughs> it's supposed to look like leather. But no, they were Most lesser cars of this area would would, or it would have just had a painted bag. No, it's beautiful. Thank you so much for all your right, time. All right, well, my pleasure. You might have went over two minutes, but... <laughs> That's all right. You can go on U.S. Classic Muscle Cars and check out the video. Your car and all the cars at Downers Grove. Thank All you. Right.